We'll start with the script 6a now. Uh, so we know how to use a feature collection and filter it to select a region. So here we will use that as our geometry. So we say we want to get a composite for this particular admin to region, and we want to detect water in that particular region. So we start with our goal uh, admin to collection, apply the filter. Uh, when we apply a filter, we get a feature collection. So we have a collection of features right now. This is only one feature. It can have more than one feature as well. So we want to connect, extract the geometry of all the features that are contained within that. So we have this function dot geometry. So we give it any feature collection and say dot geometry. This will extract the union of all the features that are contained in that feature collection and give you a polygon. So when we apply the filter, we have only one polygon and we say, selected a geometry, this will be the geometry polygon representing the admin to region. And now we have a geometry, we can use that inside of our filter. So, so far what we have done is we have started with uh, admin to collection, selected admin region, use the Sentinel-2, level two data to find all images for 2019 and created a median composite. Let's visualize this. I'm going to add map.add layer and image. We have the RGB with parameters defined and say this is our composite. And we'll also add the geometry just to show you what the geometry of the region looks like. And I'm gonna put it in red color. Let's run this. Uh, we can also, as mentioned, if you wanna to zoom to the particular uh, polygon, we can just use map.center object. And as I'm typing the thing, the function name, if it's long, we can use control space to autocomplete. Uh, this is a uh, auto completion control plus space. This helps you auto complete all the built in function names. Let's run this and you should now see a median composite for this region. And uh, we see the region. Okay, so this works. We have our composite, but some of you might be surprised that you expected only the pixels that are within the polygon to be seen, but you see everything that's around it. What happened here is our geometry looks like this. And when we use that in a filter, the filter will select all images whose footprint intersects with that polygon. Uh, what you see the shape here, this is one sentinel image. So it basically uh, selected the whole image, which were intersecting with the polygon that we selected. So we got the composite that covers our region, but for most of the time, we just want only our region. We don't want to see anything outside the region. We just want uh, a nice composite that covers only our region. If you want to do this, you can come here and say, I have this image. I want to clip it. So let's say, take that image and we can run the clip function and say, let's clip to this geometry. And instead of displaying the full image, we'll now display the clipped image. And now you'll see that uh, we now see only the pixels that are within our selected geometry. So we started with nothing and we started to the admin to collection, selected the region. We took the Sentinel-2 collection, filtered it, created a composite, clipped it, and used it. Uh, one word of warning, when you are used to doing remote sensing on the desktop or any of the software, many, your intuition will say that I will want to clip first. As soon as I get an image, I want to clip it. Right? because then you have less pixels to work with, all my computations will run faster. That is not true in Earth Engine. In Earth Engine, you should always clip at the very end. Clipping actually adds an overhead to your computation. Uh, the way Earth Engine is structured is, it doesn't really matter if you are doing compositing and doing some work with the entire world. Uh, as soon as you add a clip, it has to do some extra work. So the good practice is to always do the clip at the very end, uh, you also I will see a lot of my code where I don't even do this. I say, I just want to see the clipped version. I would just clip right here. Just clip it when you want to display or download. Rest everything, do not clip your images. That just adds an extra overhead. It slows the computation down. Uh, just it's not intuitive, but get used to this. I think this is a cause of a lot of problems with a lot of your scripts where you say, my script is slow and I see the code and you have a collection, you're clipping all images within a collection. And that just adds so much overhead to this. So do not clip, 
use clip only when you are downloading or displaying rest all the functions when you're computing statistics or doing any processing they will all ask you for a geometry say we want the statistics over this region give me the region let's do our exercise 6c 